So the thing about Beatdown's story is that I really need to talk about it, but I also really don't want to spoil it. And I honestly don't think that should be too hard. The basic premise of Beatdown is that you're playing as one of five mobsters who is betrayed by their family and you have to get to the bottom of the conspiracy. Each playable character has their own unique intro and their own ending. They also have their own motivations, which will become more clear as the story progresses, though usually not until the end. The problem here is that the story is told in a very, very uninteresting fashion. The most interesting parts are at the beginning and end, and everything in the middle just feels kinda boring. It's the kind of story that's hard to analyze, because if most of the story was like the beginning or end, then I could say a lot about the themes or whatever they were going for here, but I can't tell if they were going for anything at all because there's so little of it. Beyond that, most of the character motivations are genuinely difficult to get into. Raven's all about revenge, which, well, he's front and center on the case, so I guess that makes sense given the game's title. But that's pretty much all he is. They don't try to build any amount of intrigue around his character or how he behaves. His behavior is pretty clearly set from the start, and you never wonder where he's going to turn up, because he's very clearly trying to go to the top. He's basically just an asshole. Some of the other characters have more going for them, like Alola, who's tied up in a secondary conspiracy, which is saying something because this game has like four conspiracies going on simultaneously. And then there's Jason G, who pleasantly sticks out like a sore thumb because he's actually just genuinely a nice, caring guy who happens to be a mobster. And then there's Aaron, who gets potentially the most emotional dialogue exchange in the game, but it comes out of nowhere without any build-up, so it's hard to know how seriously you're supposed to take it or how it's supposed to make you feel. The game tries to convince you that you should really try to figure out what's really going on here and who's really behind all of this, and there is an answer to that, but it's not very satisfying. The game is basically just a big mess of people betraying other people and people masterminding other things that were masterminding other things. And this is generally a good way to go for stories like this, but you also have to make someone care about the characters, otherwise when the plot twist happens, it's just like, oh, I guess that's... I guess that's how that turned out. It's almost humorous in a way, because there are several plot twists, and each time one of them is revealed, the camera does something really dramatic and you get to see your character react slowly, but the player's reaction is guaranteed to not be nearly as dramatic. The music during the cutscenes is also way too well composed for the dialogue that actually occurs during the cutscenes. It's clear that they tried to do something special here in the story, but they really, really botched the delivery. So I'm not sure what else there is to say except they tried, but there's not enough here. That basically sums up Beatdown's entire story. I know I shouldn't expect every video game to have emotionally profound dialogue, but it couldn't hurt if every video game tried, right? Anyway, the story is easily beat down's weakest link. I'm glad it's here, and it's entertaining, but it's not going to stick with you for the right reasons.